This is a test. This is only a test. Hey everyone, it's Fahrenheit4051 here. Happy New Year, Happy Fire Alarm Friday. In this week's installment, we're going to be talking about speaker strobes. Specifically, these speaker strobes. These are Wheelock ET1010 WS24s, and despite being of the ET series, you cannot use them to phone home. These are the first speaker strobes in my collection. Can't believe I've gone this long without owning any, because you can do some pretty cool stuff with speaker strobes. Now, at first glance, they do look kind of like a 7002T, except the grill is quite different. They're also quite a bit heavier and bulkier than the 7002T. They probably weigh like 3 or 4 pounds. Now, these are a very early production run, made sometime in the early 1980s. Even without a date code, you can tell because later versions have a more terraced structure to the side profile, whereas this is completely smooth. The ET1010 is still manufactured today as a standalone speaker, typically for outdoor applications. However, the strobe version was discontinued in the early 1990s, because at .4 candelas, it does not comply with modern requirements for strobe brightness and coverage. The speaker strobe version of the ET1010 was replaced by the ET80, which is a semi-flush version with a horizontal strobe in the front. The WS, the strobe component of the ET1010 plus WS, runs on 24 volts DC like most fire alarm devices. However, the speaker, the ET1010, needs to be fed audio from an amplifier like a normal loudspeaker, because this is pretty much just a normal loudspeaker, with one key difference. Fire alarm circuits monitor themselves for integrity using a constant stream of direct current. DC can actually damage a speaker, so speakers intended for fire alarm use contain a special blocking capacitor, which blocks the DC supervision voltage while allowing the AC signal current to pass through. So if we look on the back here, we can see the separate terminals for the speaker and the strobe. You can also see this little blue jumper wire here, which is used for setting the power level. Right now, its power level is over 9000! Just kidding, this is currently jumped to the C jumper, which is half a watt at 25 volts. You can see the chart right there on the transformer that shows the power settings for both 25 volt and 70 volt systems. So NFPA 72, which is the national fire alarm code, actually requires voice evacuation systems to be installed in certain types of locations, including, but not limited to, large assembly areas like movie theaters, high-rise buildings, and all newly constructed schools. So, not just in the auditoriums and gymnasiums anymore. Now they have to be everywhere. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of that last requirement. A lot of these newer voice evacuation systems are just way too quiet. Their tones are dainty and their messages will put you right to sleep. Personal opinions aside, voice evacuation systems do boast several key advantages over traditional systems. High-rises typically use them for staged evacuation, where the fire floor and the floors above and below get the evacuation message while the rest of the building gets an alert message. They also typically come equipped with a microphone, so building personnel and or first responders could give instructions to the building occupants in real time. Voice evacuation systems could play pretty much any audio, and can even be used as a public address system. My local Sam's Club has their system configured this way, and it even plays background music when not in use. Perhaps most importantly, they're not just for fire. These systems could be used interchangeably for a variety of different types of emergency, as we'll see momentarily. Now, I don't have a voice control panel, so for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll just be using a Bluetooth amplifier hooked up to my PC. Now, instead of showing you the same old messages everyone else on YouTube does, I decided to make my own custom tones and messages. So, without further ado, let's see how they turned out. Attention all occupants. Attention all occupants. 
A fire emergency has been reported in the building. Please leave the building using the nearest available exit. Do not use the elevators. Attention all occupants. Attention all occupants. Attention all occupants. Attention all occupants. A severe weather warning has been issued in your area. Take cover immediately. Move to an interior room or hallway and stay away from windows and glass. Remain indoors until an all clear has been given. <coughs> everyone that just about does it for today thank you so much for watching here's to 2021 being a more normal year as always i hope you found this video to be both entertaining and informative don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you like ringing bell so much be sure to ring that bell down below right party time